All right, what's up guys Luther here and today we have a World Cup game now um, I know my last upload has been a while. It's been like since last SPL and that was a couple months ago um, so <laughs> So obviously now that that is over uh, we have World Cup going on now and um, we are in the pools and my pool is against um, Gray Askov and then attribute um, But today we're gonna be playing gray uh, now right here. I'm using a team by John W um it's basically geared around this nasty plot spam with Hydreigon and Torn, and then obviously Torn is um is defog here, so that's our that's our mode of hazard control. And something that's really nice about that is that the defog evasion um, drop actually helps Hurricane hit uh, moves a lot better. But regardless, um, we're gonna be running the nasty plot spam. We got an unaware Clef as support, and then um, Sand, and then pivoting Scizor. So um, Scizor is gonna help us pivot in on you know things like um, bulky fairies such as Clef. Um, you know, spam out knocks and then turns and stuff like that. So it's really good in that regard. Um, I changed Draco to Dark Pulse here because I did find that I was a bit weak to Corv or struggled a bit in terms of breaking power. Um, so that's why uh, I changed it to Dark Pulse um, instead of... Oh, did I already import it? Yeah, okay. So um, yeah, that's why I changed it to Dark Pulse over uh, Draco. And yeah, um, it, this team has done pretty well in tests. Granted, maybe I have been a bit unlucky in tests, but that's probably probably also because I've been putting myself in poor position sometimes. But I do like this team in general. Um, the T Wave uh, Heal Bell support on Clef is, is pretty is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, uh, I think everything is good, and then we're just gonna roll right in and get this game going. All right, have fun, bro. All right, so the first thing off the bat that I see is that um, my Unaware Clef is going to be really, really, really good in this game. Um, it's going to be checking the Lucha, checking the D-Knight, and checking the Garchomp. Um, and then for the Magnezone, um, I have my own Hippo, which is super good because um, if it's Specs, then Hippo should take two. Um, let me calc. Because I am um, I'm fully Spadef. Magnus own. Uh, choice specs. Yeah, so it, it realistically it should. The only way it doesn't if it's like if he gets like incredibly high rolls or gets a drop or something like, along those lines. But you know, um, I'm leaning toward this being more trapper. But regardless, um, well, it has to be trapper because it, he needs to get rid of like corves and stuff like that. Um, but regardless, uh, the real threat to me is probably this Bisharp, um, and it's going to mo more likely than not be SD. But let's calc this. Um, Hydreigon versus Bisharp. See how much um, you know damage I need to put in Earth Power range. So let's say if I get rocks up. Okay, sweet. So if I get rocks up, um, or well, even if I click Earth Power, it basically dies to um, its own Life Orb uh, at that range, and that is very very good. Now Scizor is really it's it's nice in terms of being able to toss out. You know bps and stuff like that so um that's 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 good in that regard but alternate like otherwise it's really not that um insanely useful so let's see how much clef takes from a guard chomp guard chomp um swords dance so life orb chomp usually two it ko's me so what i want to do in this game is i really want to knock off that guard chomp um, keep Clef to check the Chomp, the Dragonite, um, and the Lucha, and then the Hippo will be able to check the Magnezone and the Coco. So, those, that's really what I'm looking at right now. Um, hmm. In, term, in terms of leads, um, I probably just want to lead Hippo and then try, like, Toxic something or the another, or, or another. Um, more likely than not, I see him leading, like, you know, Coco and getting up screens. I also saw that he ran, like, a Specs Coco, um earlier on in the tournament um but i'm probably just gonna lead off with hippo and see what happens from there um does lead off with chomp now um i think i just gonna toxic this because this thing is like a threat to my team um and i really don't want it snowballing out of control um granted it does make me a bit weaker to magnezone but if this is gone out of the way then hydreigon becomes an offensive threat um especially because sand is up um and this also circumvents me having to use clef as a as a check plus how much do i uh, take I probably get to a KO'd. Um, 
from life orb okay so it's it's still a roll to knock me out as well so i'm just gonna throw off a toxic and as he does go for the sd and i do get the toxic which is really really nice now um obviously um as i said earlier i want to keep this hippo around um because it is very good in this game um and i gotta figure out what i need to toss so i think torn is pretty expendable in this match um okay so let's say okay so okay um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna stay in here obviously but let's say i do go torn i toss it um how much does clef take so clef takes um okay so clef takes that much from chomp and then from life orb damage and then toxic i'll be able to kill it with moonblast and then how much does it take from dragon knight dual wing beat uh okay so i live and i can recover up after so i can just moonblast a turn then that's really nice um but in terms of what i need i don't think i need my torn and you can kill it if you want i don't i don't think i really need it in this game let's see what it goes for it goes for scale shot and how many hits do you get oh did you get three hits okay sweet um I don't know why Fox News is going up, but either way. Um, oh, it is Lefty's Chomp, um, which means my cleft is well this. That's sweet. Um, I'm just going to make sure. Guard Chomp. Um, Swords the Dance Attacker. Um, yeah, my cleft is well you. Are you kidding me? Come on. Dude, that's so bad. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, so my wing con has become my hippo now. Is Clef in dual wing beat range? Well, kinda. Where does he even. It doesn't even heal up on anything. So this Clef is basically dead now. Well, or I can just pray that I, I get the roll with Dragon Knight. Oh my god, that's so bad. Alright, well, <laughs> that really blows. Well, I, I don't need Torn regardless, so I'm just going to go into it. Whatever. Wow, that's really sad. Okay, it goes into Magnezone. What? So you would let me recover there if I wanted to? Alright, I'm just going to go Hippo. Let's see what he goes for. Specs flash cannon gets a high roll and a spit after op. All right, bro. Yep. 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 All right. Well, I, I just gotta go into scissor and pivot. <sighs> Jesus Christ, dude. This guy's lucky. Wait, wait. I, I gotta calc if scissor gets two k. I don't think so though. Um, so Scizor is taking, yeah, okay, all right. Um, I'm just going to hard U-turn and then heal up my, um, my Hippo because it should be out of range at that point. Man, this guy is so lucky. And if he goes into D-Knight, I might just, um, be able to heal up on it. Okay, he just goes Flash Cannon again. Sure, bro. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go Hippo and then recover up. As long as I don't get crit here, I'm in a I'm in an okay spot again, um, and then maybe I can do something with uh, Toxic Hippo because that that's still very good in this game as well. Um, hmm. If this is D Knight Heal Bell or, or D, uh, yeah D Knight with Heal Bell, then I'm in I, I, the game's just over. Um, unless I I like I get the roll properly on Clef, which is probably not even in my favor. Granted, he also has to hit the dual wing beat, but. Knowing his luck, I'm sure he will. Um, wow, that really sucked. Um, having extra sacks in this game is actually super, super good because that means my my Hydreigon or something never has to come in hard on like a Bisharp. Um, dude, what are you doing? Are you just is he just crit fishing now? All right, I need the health. I need this healthy though. Um, like I can't win this game if this isn't healthy. Why is he getting max? Is he modest?
even if he is modest, he's just getting max rolls, I guess. All right, bro. All right, okay, okay. So I think we're safe-ish now. And then we always have packs in the back um, if he does rot me or something. Um, and then getting rocks up is also pretty good because uh, that puts Bisharp in a good range of Hydreigon. Um, honestly, changing to Dark Pulse here is going to hurt me a lot, uh, but that's okay. I'm just going to slack all the way up. Gets the drop, which is fine because I have packs in the back. Um, but this guy is crazy lucky, my god. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's not much we can do, I guess. Mm. Yeah, that that that, bl that blows. My God. Yeah, if, if you didn't get the crit there, then um, probably Clef kind of just won. But I guess for what's worth, maybe it wasn't risking worth risking the um the earthquake. But like, I I had to. He had to get the earthquake play right, and then I don't know, whatever. I mean. I guess what's whatever happened has happened. Uh, I guess I wasn't like the most optimal play, but you live and you learn, I guess. Um, it is probably I can see it definitely being like Taunt Lucha or something. Um, dude, I need to turn notifications off. It's okay though. I'm just gonna scald. Uh, I do get the burn on Coco, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go Hippo. I get Thunderbolts and. Huh. Yeah, if that's Taunt Lucha, this game is kind of over. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, well, I guess I can burn with my, my packs, but that's it. Um, yeah, I'm going to get up rocks here. And see, okay, so it's U-turn um, on Coco. Let's see what he goes into. Um. Hmm. <sighs> what is the most threatening thing he can go into? I guess Bisharp. Um. Bisharp is kind of annoying for me to deal with. Um. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, this this game was so bad, but whatever. Um. Maybe I should have toxic here, trying to punish Lucha if possible. Um. Okay, just goes in Garchomp. Now, the thing is... Okay, let's see. <sighs> Garchomp. Yeah, so since you're not life orb you don't do that much to me unless you're like aqua tail how much does aqua tail do to me aqua tail um so that isn't even too a ko me so i can just earthquake kind of here and then toss out torn after yeah okay Um, yeah, I, I think that's a reasonable play. Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, he's probably going to go for the roll or something with uh, Earthquake, which doesn't even kill. Um, I doubt he'll go for a scale shot because, I don't know, this guy's weird. Um, I'll just go Torn anyways. Um, even if you kill me, I, I don't think I care that much. Yeah, whatever. Um, let's see. So I can go for a hurricane. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to say screw it, whatever. I'll just go for the hurricane. Of course I miss, right? Whatever. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. Um, I'll just go for a knockoff. Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, huh. <sighs> what is he going to go to Bisharp? Um, so, okay, so we reveal that it's, it's modest zone, um, but that doesn't really change much for us. Uh, goes into Bisharp, and my play is always hard Hydreigon. I'm not going to let you set up for free. 
and I don't even think my Hydreigon dies to plus two Iron Head. Unless your Life Orb, which is really good. Hydreigon. Um, yeah, unless your Life Orb, I don't die. And if you are Life Orb, um, then I'm I'm totally down. I I, I would love a double down. Um, goes hard into D Knight. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into Pex. Um, because he makes a play hard into Coco, which is fine. Now, I'm gonna click a Scald because, um, I don't one I don't think you're Thunderbolting. Two, I don't want you like getting options to set up Lucha or something along those lines. Yeah. So okay, so something's gonna hit with a Scald Burn. So, um, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, nope. Unfortunate. Um, I'm just gonna go into Hippo then. Um, you know, again, the only way this is bad is if he gets max rolls or a spell after op. Um, alternatively, I could just toss out Scizor, but Scizor is really nice. Um, because it, it's like a it's like a last second check to Lucha, so I want to keep it if possible. It goes for Flash Cannon, which you know I thought I knew it was coming. Um. Okay, this guy is so lucky. It's a 10% drop, and he's gotten three within 10 uses, 11 uses. Whatever, I'm just going pecs anyways. Um, did Coco take rocks? No, it did not. Um, just going to... I can just go into Hippo, whatever. It's okay, yeah. You can go into zone, and again with the Bisharp, now it's in range of like Earth Power, um, because it's taken two rocks. Um, so that that's really really nice. Yeah, you can go into Bisharp, and Hydreigon will be able to chew this for days. Um, so I don't think I really mind it. Yeah. So somehow this game is turning into be slightly manageable. That Dina is still a problem though. Um, does go for a knockoff. And it reveals black glasses, so I'm always going to roost up here because I want to be at full health. Um, uh, I should calc that damage, but my timer's kind of low. Uh, let me calc it, though. Uh, Bisharp, Hydreigon, black glasses, knockoff doing 32. So it looks like it is that set. Um, I do have a Pex here. I'm going to throw off a Toxic and then see what you are. So it looks like you are... Okay, we hit the Toxic, which is great, great. Um, that is super good for us now. Um... Now, I'm just going to go into Torn. I know you're going to click the dual wing beat, but I don't even know if you kill me. One. Um, okay. So, it's Ice Punch. Um, that is okay. And as long as this goes down, all I really need is um, my pecs uh, to win this game. So, we can hope for a Clef roll. Um... How much does Pex take from D Knight? Dragon Knight. From Metoxapex. Um, plus one. It's definitely adamant. Um, it's not adamant. Um, so I am in range. Um, since it is jolly, I can just go clef and like hope for a roll. Um, the thing is, sometimes you don't run even run dual wing beat. Sometimes I run just dragon claw. Um, but getting the man, because if I get if I get clef up, I'm in a really good spot. Um. Yeah, screw it, honestly. Like, I, I need to get this roll um, and hope he doesn't, like, luck me here as well. Or maybe he just doesn't have, like, dual wing because I know they run Dragon Claw last sometimes. Um, but we'll see. Okay, he's not. <sighs> Thank God. All right, I'm just going to go into Scizor here. I don't need this anymore. Um, and that means I can just go into Hippo and heal up the turn after. Or just click an Earthquake, because if I get rid of it, then I'm in a great spot as well. Yep, this goes for the Volt Switch, which is fine. Now, the thing is, my Hydreigon 
um, is very, very good in this game now. So he goes into Bisharp, and again, I'm just going to go into my Hydreigon. Um, and uh, I don't want to get lost in like a Volt Turn type situation. So um, if I want to be crazy, I can just go for the Nasty Plot. Plus two. Alternatively, I can just raw dark. Yeah, raw dark pulse is actually fine as well. Okay, it goes into Halucha. Now, I want to make a play that covers the Magna Zone. And to be honest, I'm going to go Hippo here because I know that he's all in the Magna Zone. Oh, he didn't. Okay, that's annoying. Um, But once this goes down, I think I'll be okay. Um, I might just recover up here. Screw it. Yep. Screw you, bro. Screw you, bro. Um, this guy is so absurdly aggressive and so absurdly lucky. He always makes like stupid plays like this. Um, and it works out in his favor. And I'm not gonna let that happen anymore. I'm gonna go Pex here because I don't want him doubling again. Um, yep. And you're not gonna do anything to me at all. Um, plus I have a Clefable in the back that I'm just gonna use now in case of your sky attack or something. Okay, I'm going to go into Hippo now, as he's going to run out of Flash Cannon soon, um, and hopefully just doesn't get a crit. Um, Alright, screw it, bro. Yeah, okay. So, we didn't, we didn't need a Hippo for anything else at this point, because Coco is kind of on a timer, and honestly, Hippowdon probably recovers from a Coco. Well, kind of. <laughs> but um, I have a Hydreigon here, which, you know, uh, it's perfectly fine. And also, Clef probably beats a Coco. And once I get, like, a, a special attack drop, then my Hippo can recover anyways. Um, so it's not a big deal. And I'm just going to Roost off here because I know that it does, like, less than half or just about half. Um, so this is this is perfectly fine. And then if he goes D-Knight, then obviously I have a Clef um, in the back. And then I just have to get one turn right where he stays in with, like, Iron Head or does something stupid. And then um, I'll be in an okay spot. Um, let's see what else can. Yeah, I think I think that's okay. Um, yeah, because if he goes D Knight, then that's fine. Uh, he's just racking up uh, toxic damage, and eventually uh, my Hydreigon becomes like an offensive threat with Dark Pulse once it uh, once it gets in range. Um, yep, just goes to Lucha, which is fine. Um, I mean, I have a Pex in the back, so I'm just gonna go into it. Um, yeah yeah sure again i have a hydreigon um and you're whittling yourself down and if you're gonna do this play you're gonna get it wrong eventually um which he just did and then if you go D if you go d knight um that is perfectly fine as well because i have a pex in the back um you can go for ice punch i just don't want to be frozen which is why i'm going to the pex instead of clef um i'm just gonna throw off a recover now goes coco which is fine by me i'm just gonna recover now um sure i'm just Trying to drain out terrain. I don't need pecs that badly in this game. Okay, you can go for your dazzling gleam. Okay, one more time, and then now I have a clef, which deals with you properly. Yeah, this is okay. And then go bisharp. You're gonna take some damage, and then, um, yeah, you're you're eventually whittling yourself down long term. Um, goes for thunderbolt, which is fine. Um, honestly. Is this in range of Moonblast? Because I want to go for it. Nah, I'm just going to... Yeah, that's okay. And I'm just going to drop a Moonblast now. Um, actually, actually, no, 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 no. I, I can't because if he gets the the drop onto Bisharp, then I'm in a kind of annoying situation. I'm just going to T-Wave here. Yeah, that's okay. Um, and I just have to run out of uh, terrain. Goes into Bisharp. Now... Unfortunately, I don't think there's a mid-ground I can make. I could go T-Wave here, I guess. Because I don't need the super healthy. That's fine. I'm just going to Hydreigon. Oh, it's okay. Um, Yeah. And at this point... I got to roost. Yeah, I, I need his Halucha to come in one more time for me to make this play. Make make the proper play of um, just clicking Earth Power. 
Yeah, uh, and is Denite in range? Well, even if it is, I don't think I should risk it. I'm just gonna go Pex. Let's go Coco, which is smart. Um, yeah, I'm just going hard to Clef. That's okay. Uh, he goes for Dazzling Gleam. Um, yeah, I just gotta... Because the thing is, I have Heal Bell in the back as well, which is really, really nice. Um, so I can just go back into Hydreigon here, and the terrain runs out this turn, which is great. Um, I'm just going to Roost again. I'm going to keep Roosting. Um, and then this is in range now. Yeah, I want to click Earth Power really badly. Um, but I'm just going to go to Clef because it covers the Cocoa Midground a bit better. Yep. Um, and I'm just going to drop a Moonblast because I think Bisharp is in range now. Or very close to being in range. Okay, sweet. We get the special attack drop. Um, and that means I can just recover up here. Yep, and then I, I think this should be game now because Dark Pulse kind of wins at this point. Um, but we shall see. Um, okay, yeah, it just goes into Bisharp, which is fine. I just go into Hydreigon. You can go to Coco if you want, um, but I just click Earth Power here. Yep, okay, sweet. And so this means our Clef should basically be able to sweep um, from here on out. I, th I think it beats all of these 1v1. Um, and then, I oh, my play is to go Hippo, and the reason is because if he clicks Dazzling Gleam and he gets the roll, then he dies to stand plus burn. If he recovers, then my leftovers put me outside of Dazzling Gleam range. Yep, this is perfectly fine. Now I go into my uh, Clef. That should be able to beat the D-Knight and the Lucha at the end um, of the 1v1. I'm just going to soft will, I guess, put myself as high health as possible. Okay, it's Poison Jab. Oh, uh, that's funny. And then I'm um, going to be able to sweep. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, obviously this was a weird game at the start because the crit on Clef really put me put me in a super, super bad position. Um, and then obviously the drops with Magnezone were pretty, pretty um, unfortunate as well. But thankfully we, we were able to pull it out um, and then get the win. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for joining me here. Um, obviously I will be putting up um, the content versus Askov and um attribute when i played those guys um and if you want any other content just you know comment below and then i'll try my best to get on that but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time